Alright, and we're back with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, when we last left off, we forgot to do a few things, like get those two pieces of hearts. Like the one you um, were to normally get from that singing thing that I showed you down where that target thing is. Remember where I got that extra um, Deku um, seeds? Remember? So, forgot to do that. Of course, that one's going to be a pain in the butt anyway. But anyway. And I forgot to play Saria's song to the school kid. Man, nice try, you dongle shithead. So we have those two things to do after this dungeon. Since we forgot them. Well, it seems right that I finish it, I suppose. Are you kidding? There's some more hits I have to do here. You know, frankly, I like those dinosaurs a lot better than the ones... Yeah. Alright, let's... Let's see what's in there. Oh, a rippy. Don't need it, though. We're full on rippies. There's one more Dodongo right here. Ow. Turd face. Now that I'll take care of your nerd ass. Alright, now we gotta light all those torches. For that door to open. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, my friend. And it might take several tries to get it right. Yeah, knowing me. I always take like take the easy way out. And it always ends up ends up being the problem with the solution. But I intend to do it legitimately legitimately without copying any notes or anything. Like I usually do. Because I usually copy notes before I do it, but you know, there's a ladder over there, so I think I'm good to go. Although it might take so long to go up the damn ladder that it might be kind of pointless. Anyway. Oh, this is one of my favorite rooms. Got those bums in it. Uh, okay. So basically what you want to do first is um, put a bomb right there. So yeah, sue me. I forgot a few things. It happens to the best of us. Oh, let's try this one in the master quest. That's right. Oh, great. I have a simple solution to that idiot. Uh. Gotcha. Although I'm almost dead. Thank God that was the only one I had to blow up. Otherwise, I would have been dead. thing either but still I have to do it no matter how many tries it takes I know this could probably go on for the most of the entire episode I just know it and if not ever what I need right now is health that's for sure that's always been kind of cool I hear it's gold to love by the way which I intend to get somehow. That in which I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna have to have um, 
the boomerang for something like that. Yeah. Cool, that's exactly what I needed. Yeah, I have no way of actually getting that um, up there. Not really. No, but I can get that one. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, Link. An idiot. Well, hey, at least I'll be able to get this one. Right? I can't see how you could possibly climb that. The holes are just too big. Unless his Link was a giant. Let's see if you can see through this thing here. Yeah, I see him over there. The question is, how the hell am I going to get over there? I'm not going to get over there, that's the question. Flying keys. It's called Transference of Fire, buddy. Yeah, I should have just left that guy alone. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna leave him alone. And push this guy here. But I might have to defeat him anyway to open up that door. I have no idea. I'm just dreading the moment I have to do that. That's why they call it dread, I suppose. Don't even try coming near me, you bitch. I'm not exactly in a great mood right now at the moment. Oh, forget him. I honestly don't give a crap. Oh, great. Let the talking talker talk away. Yeah, I'm aware of what's around the corner, you dip-tard. Okay, I'm aware of this. Thank you for shutting up, Mid- um... Might as well call you Midna. Uh, hate that. I hate it when I'm proven wrong every time. What's in here? Try some stupid. Oh, yeah. Got it. <laughs> Alright, so you want to go ahead and shoot that eyeball up there. To jump across. Yeah, yeah, nice try. Oh, this is an even bigger one. Bring it on. Bring it on, baby. Gotcha. Your turn to die. Bring it on, buckaroni. Yeah, 
yeah, nice try, buddy. You aren't gonna get me that easily. No way, Jose. Now, if you notice, this is right above that last place we fought the Lizalfos. Which is kind of strange, I suppose. Now I know why lava is flowing from this place as well. Which is, I guess, is as an, as an extra bonus to it, I guess. Alright, first you want to go ahead and hit that eyeball switch up there. And then you want to turn left and hit another eyeball switch. They're so mysterious, those eyeball switches, aren't they? For sure. And this, my friends, is where our bomb bag is going to be. Certainly. We carry 20 bombs. I'm gonna go ahead and step on that switch. Now, wouldn't it have been nice if we could have just came up here like that? It would have been nice, wouldn't it have? Okay, well, let's um, go ahead and get out the newfound bombs that we have here. Garon's special crop, also known as. Yeah, well, there's also something over here as well. Conveniently placed, there's a chest behind this wall. I told you, now, didn't I? Put it away, Link, put it away. Take your freaking precious time. Oh, well, that's not going to fly. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, clearly, I hit it. Now I can finally blow up that one thing. I'm inside of the eyeball. This whole entire dungeon, I didn't fall in that lava pit, and then I finally do at the very end. It's kind of ironic in a way. Up, oh, looks like I'm stuck on this platform. Well, unless I do this, I suppose. Get up there fast enough. I can finally blow your ass up. Yep, I was finally able to blow you up today, wasn't I? Sounds like total fun. Okay. I'm just going to ignore them for now. Ow. Because they're just going to respawn when I come back to the room, so there's no point in killing them off. I'll just come right back. Gotcha. Oh, and then thanks you for the heart extra hearts, by the way. I'm much obliged for that. Now I can just go up here and get everything and not go in that room, but since I'm a guy's guy, I think I will. And just to see what's in there. Oh, uh, well, it's gonna be easier fighting you. Gotcha. I thought I was gonna blow up my thing for me, I guess not. 
Gotcha. Hmm, that reminds me. I also forgot something else as well. Stay away. Let's if we can use our bottle for something useful now. Gotcha, Mr. Mrs. Fairy. Yeah, I like the way the fairies look better in the Wind Waker game, other than this one. A lot better. That much is certain. That's just what I needed, thanks. Alright, now is the time to kill those guys. Got one. Got him. Alright, now basically is what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab this. And push it. Because there's a switch down there in that hole. And it's a switch that obviously you guessed it. That doesn't stay down by itself. You have to push something on it that's heavy. And see? Let's quickly come over here real fast. Oh, just a ruby. Not worth it. Alright, and this is basically the boss. But before we go ahead and blow up the floor here, there is some bombs I want to grab here. Now we can use bomb flowers, but I prefer using the bombs that we got from this place. So. Perfect. a gigantic King Dodongo. Infernal Dinosaur King Dodongo. And here's the part where you want to get your sword and strike it. And then quickly get out of the way. Follow it. Well, it takes about three hits. This is also a really easy boss. Very easy indeed. Maybe I was right, wrong in the three, maybe it's four times. I suppose. Got him! It was four hits instead of three. So I was wrong with the three hits. It all worked out in the end. For the best.
give me that. That is mine. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm aware of this. Alright, let's go ahead and leave. And now with the bombs, we can get a variety of more heart pieces now. Yeah. It's me, Darunia. Well done. <laughs> Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dodongo's Cavern until our stomachs burst. What a wild adventure. It will make an incredible an, an incredible story. I can't believe that the the, 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 the the Dodongos suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave? Alright, this... <sighs> oh. oh. Alright. This trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief Ganondorf. Dorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risk your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. And lo and behold, the Goron's Ruby, also known as the Spiritual Stone of fire this I think is what it's called anyway you've obtained the yep the spiritual stone of fire also known as Goran's rupee don't know what he. Yeah, I know what he means by swarm brothers. <sighs> Excuse me. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. Oh, God. Big old. How about a big old Goron hug, brother? <laughs> Poor Link. Poor Link. Alright, well, let's go up to the Death Mountain Trail and receive special powers. Well, now that we have our bombs, we can do just that. But before we head up there. There's something I would love to do. And that's in the Goron City. It's uh, getting a, a, a bigger bomb bag. That's what it is. Ah, I didn't want to fall that far. Well, as long as I'm down here, I might as well blow this up. Now that I have my own bombs and everything. Oh, uh, you see a big guy rolling up there? You wanna blow him up with a bomb. Right near where a sign is. So basically we gotta wait until he rolls all the way around the place again. If you can stop my wild rolling, you might get something great. Hot Rodder Goron. Yeah, you basically want to stop him right here. Anywhere else, you just keep saying the same thing. So you want to time it just right. I think you'd move a little faster for a pretty big Goron there, huh? Ah, I didn't time it right. Son of a gun. Let's 
psyche is kind of distorted when it comes to rolling. It's kind of weird. All right, well, we gotta blow him up anyway, so. Otherwise, we're never gonna get this bomb bag. Got him. Damn, he looks smaller. All right, I'll give you this in praise of your courage. I got a big bomb bag and carry up to a maximum of 30 now. That's fun. It just does not look right. No, it doesn't. But anyway, who's to choose, choose the right has right to judge? I certainly don't. I just wish he'd move faster, jeez. Okay, there's a lot of walls we gotta blow up now. Just to let you know that. There's another wall way down here we gotta blow up. And another one. Alright, well we'll talk to him later on in the game. To just clear in the path. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to go on, oh, not that way. You want to go on to the other side. Where I came from last time. I'm a little high up. Oh, so I wanted to go down. Come on, Link. Fall down there already. Shit. Alright, so this is where I wanted to go. Is there oh, yeah, that's right. I wanted to climb Death Mountain to get the magic first. Duh. So I was right in doing that. No, that's down. Oh boy. Navi, I'm aware of where we need to go. I'm not stupid. She'll shut up eventually. This episode might go on a little extra long. More longer than usual. I surmise it'd be about 33 minutes long, 34, 35 at the most. But that's no small feat. My very first episode was 36 minutes long. Because I intend to end it right whenever I am um, about to do that during that challenge. So that way I can, I guess I will kind of cheat, I'll copy it. I'll leave that ruby there for when I actually need it. That's if it stays there anyway. Which I'm pretty darn sure it will. Ah, uh, This rock wants to be stubborn. Extra stubborn, apparently. Got it. And like I said, I'm leaving that ruby there for when I actually need it. Are you kidding me? I was like right next to the damn boulder. You'll see what's down there later in the game. Basically a cow and a lot of money. Well, a bunch of green rupees and a red one or something, I guess. Damn, it starts right off the bat, doesn't it? Doesn't give me any warning. Ow. No, I'm just gonna try and make it. Got 
Gotcha. Now, I may not have enough time because of health issues, but I can get it after I get the ferry, I suppose. I might make it. Looks like I did. Ah, right, hello, son. All right, so let's go there, shall we? Now you want to play Zelda's Lullaby. All right, perfect. Oh, welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Power. I am going to grant you a sword technique. Receive it now. That is not right. That's kind of crude, actually. Yeah, no one wants to stare at you like that, naked, all naked-like. And I mean nobody. Alright, so now I've got a spin attack. Now I'm gonna head over to the Lost Woods, so I'm gonna probably walk across to Hyrule. But, you know, there is a piece of heart I wanna get, so. Yeah, I don't wanna really wanna read what you said because you're nude. Well, practically naked for our Nintendo solutions. Yeah, when battles made me weary, I know. I'm a little exhaustedly tired, but I'm good. Okay. Let's uh, take a ride on the owl down, shall we? I wish it stopped freezing like that. Alright, take me down. So I can get that piece of heart. Please and thank you. And so he conveniently places me up here where I can easily snag this little beauty. That's giving me my third piece of heart. Now I'm gonna head over to the Kokiri Forest right fast to hopefully get another piece of heart. Now I'd head over to Longland Ranch first. But I think I'll save that for later. Simply because I want to do that after I do this. It just seems more prudent, that's all. So I might go on to about 37 minutes to 40. Well hey, my first episode I said it would be about 30 to 40 minutes long, so... I'm not wrong in that department. I think I'll go this way. No, I guess my limit would be to an hour, which you know, is not going to happen. there. I would have ended it a long time ago. It's just that 
I want to get past this part, and the only, the only way I sure far way to do it is to memorize it and copy it down. So, and I want to leave I want to leave that part out because that part's going to be boring if you were to watch me do that. Basically, pausing the game over and over and over again by emulator means, and doing a few few um, constantly pausing it through each one and then writing it down or typing it down or whatever. I prefer writing it down, but or drawing it. But I have to get through the first few parts first, otherwise you'll miss out on it. So that's why I have to re keep recording until I get over there. All right, let's do this, shall we? Luckily, I think I could do a backflip. All right. Let's do this, shall we? Follow along with your song on your ocarina. We'll lead you into it. Got it. That was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. Alright. Do you want to play again some more? Yes, I do. Alright, well, I've got to end this off now, so. But first, let's see if we can do it once. Okay, well, that's it for this episode, guys. Okay. Alright, again, um, thanks for watching. That's it for this episode. Sorry for the extinction on it, but again, thanks for watching. Might as well go for the last few seconds here.